Hey everyone, Paul here. In this video, I will be going over three ways you can grow your freelance business. So whether you're freelancing right now or you're just looking at how you can get started, these are three ways that you can not only just start freelancing, but actually grow it into a real business that has monthly recurring cash flow. Okay, so let's jump right in. The number one way to grow your freelance business is by focusing on your pipeline. So a lot of times, pipeline and sales funnel and all of these different terms are being thrown around. But what it really means is that you're focusing on the funnel and you're focusing on the pipeline. What that means is you're getting people into your sales cycle. So if you're a freelancer and you're providing services online, you need different clients to be able to provide those services to. So whether you have a client that's a recurring client and then you don't have them anymore and you need to go get another client, or if you already get a couple clients and you're ready to start moving up, earning more money, then what you need to do is start getting more clients that are paying you. Now the only way to do that is to continue to focus on filling your pipeline with qualified clients. And there's a lot of different ways to do that. Uh, I like to start out on freelancing websites like Upwork and Fiverr. It's a great place where you can go to a place where people are already posting thousands of jobs that are, and they're looking for freelancers. So that's a great place to start. And then also look at referrals, look at networking, look at the people you know, your friends, your family, but also if you're freelancing right now, some of your previous clients, you'd be surprised how many of them actually have referrals for you if you just ask. And this is an ongoing thing. So even if you ask for a referral a year ago, follow up with your database. Keep networking and find different opportunities to continue filling your pipeline. So that's reason number one and way number one you can grow your freelance business. Now, way number two to grow your freelance business is by focusing on upskilling. Now, upskilling is basically the process of learning an additional skill or service you can provide that complements your initial skill. So let's say you're an application developer, you can learn a different platform or a different way to develop apps. Or let's say you're in marketing and you're working on copywriting. You can start to learn how to do Facebook advertising and Instagram advertising to combine those two skills together. So this is what is known as upskilling, and this will really give you the ability to grow your business because you can charge much higher rates than when you just have one skill or one service that you're providing. So look at different ways you can start to expand your knowledge, expand your skill set. I'm gonna put a photo on the screen right now. LinkedIn actually came out with an awesome resource where they have skill training on some of the most in-demand digital positions right now. So I encourage you to go check that out. But it's really all about continuing to expand how much value you can provide to your clients. So when you start to focus on that and you start to focus on your pipeline like we just went over, then you're really gonna to start to be turning this into a business. And that gets right into the third way to grow your freelance business, which is by focusing on long-term clients. Now, long-term clients are clients that stay with you for multiple months, if not multiple years. Now, there's a misconception that if you're freelancing, you're just working on one-time gigs, you're always looking for that next project. And if you're doing that right now, that's fine, but you have to face it that that's not a real business. You're gonna be focusing on putting your time in for what you're getting out, and that is not what a business is. What a business can really provide is value. So look at securing long-term clients, becoming a part of their digital team, and that's when you're really gonna be able to turn this into a business, because then you'll be able to show how much value you're bringing, and you're gonna get paid for that every single month, as opposed to having to just do a one-time project and then start that process all over again. Because mo usually the most challenging part is that initial period when you get the client, you do the onboarding, you're getting to know them, getting to know their business. Once you know that, once you're already providing your skill and you're having success, that is how you need to focus on growing your business is nurturing that relationship and showing them that you really care 
and making them a long-term client. And that only happens if it's a win-win for both parties involved. And that's why it's so important, like in reason number two, the way number two we just went over, is to upskill, to keep expanding your skill set. That's how you're gonna get long-term clients. And then back to the, the first way, just to recap, filling your pipeline up is the only way you can consistently make sure you have that monthly income that's coming. So I hope this was helpful, breaking down a couple different ways you can grow your freelance business. If you wanna learn more, check out the link in the description. I have a brand new free training on how to build a side hustle or a full-time income working 100% online from anywhere you want to. So go ahead, check that out. Once again, my name is Paul Mendez, and I look forward to your freelance success.